Welcome back to our little animation journey. In this lecture, I will talk about the animation pane and the ways you can start an animation. Like we have here in Home, select Selection Pane, which shows us all the elements you have on a slide. You can deselect them, you can select them by clicking on it. You have something very similar, if not same, on the animation tab. On the animation tab, you have the animation pane, which I very like, and there is something going on here. I told you that we have color coding, which means the, the green animations are the entrance effects, emphasis and exit effects, and also the blue ones, which are the motion pads, but they are a bit less used. It depends on the situation. Okay, now how can an animation start? And that's very important. You have this little one and the mouse here. This is because we have on click with previous and after previous. And now listen carefully because in my opinion, this is kind of advanced. Let's say that with my first mouse click, I would like the first object to appear and the second animation to start. So I would like the, the fade in and the emphasis effect. I would then select right click and I would select with previous. This would mean this, that this animation starts together. Let me show you. With my first mouse click, this will appear and this will like jump up. See, both animations happened on one mouse click. Another way we have uh, of starting an animation apart from clicking the mouse and with previous where they're stuck together is after previous. After previous, I see one problem with after previous is that we cannot connect them because sometimes I would like to delay an animation just a little bit so they like start one after another smoothly. And when you select after previous, it will not start until the previous animation is, is completed. Let me show you on an example. First, this needs to completely fade in and then this will jump up. See, it's like the one would trigger another. This would be the, like, <laughs> the easiest explanation that one animation triggers another animation. But as you can see, the second animation is on click and on click. So you have three types of those animations and you will not learn it unless you use it. So those four objects which you have, I would like you to make them all happen at once. If you don't know how, I could select all three animations. You can do this by clicking the left control key and selecting them. Right click on all of them and select with previous. Right now we have one mouse button click for all those animations. So the way this would play out, I would explain my presentation. I would explain a concept to you and the end result would be that it worked. I would click my mouse to proceed to the next slide. Oh, sorry, this is not the slide I meant. This is the slide I meant. And you know what will happen. Because once I click my mouse, this owl will break the hell out of this slide. Look how crazy this will be. All four animations. Okay, this is just for the sake of like training animations and knowing what's happening on the screen and that we did this. We have several types of animation and now you already know that you can select on click with previous and after previous.